As they say, football is a game of inches. That couldn't be more true for the Pierce football team last year. The Pioneers came up one play short of an eighth state tournament appearance in nine years, falling to New London Spicer 28-24 in the Section 6 3A championship. Last Thursday, Pierce kicked off their season with a two-touchdown win against Holding Ford. And as Ryan Buller tells us, the Pioneers are on a pursuit to get back to the bank. The Pierce football program is back. <laughs> After opening their season last year 3-0, the Pioneers are looking to start off strong right out of the gates once again. Every year is a challenge, and you don't know what you're going to get out of kids until the first few games, and we're constantly making adjustments from the scrimmage to week one all the way into playoffs. The playoffs is very familiar territory to the Pioneers after navigating all the way to the section final last year, coming within just one win away from a state tournament berth. They ultimately ended their season in heartbreaking fashion. I think more than anything, it... it makes us even more hungry. You know, we were right there. Um, you know, we had a 17-point lead going into the fourth quarter, and unfortunately uh, lost with 12 seconds left, and uh, it was tough. Uh, the kids uh, battled through a lot of adversity last year with injuries, um, you know, a mixture of older kids, younger kids, and to get to that point and not be able to kick down the door, it definitely left a, a little hunger in the kids and in the coaching staff, and I think that can be motivation going into this year. With 14 seniors returning from last year to lead this team back to a section final, that shared experience has only brought the team closer together. A lot of us, or all of us, work working really hard at practice, and everyone's ready to go, and everyone wants it. So we're like a family. I mean, we're out here just all friends, laughing, and we're having fun, but we're still gonna go out and give it our all. The Pioneers put up just over 270 total points last year, winning five of their 11 games by double digits, which means with all the returning pieces, the playbook is wide open. Knowing, like having some varsity time under your belt helps a lot, so you know what to do and who to block and stuff like little things like that, steps, all that stuff. I would say the experience has really helped. You know, we went into last year with a lot of new faces and we have plenty of new faces this year, but just having kids come back with experience uh, allows us to open up our playbook a little sooner than we were able to do last year. Well, last year is in the past, but now a new season is finally upon us, and the Pioneers feel like they have some unfinished business. Reporting in Piers, I'm Ryan Bowler, Lakeland News. The Pioneers hit the road this week, taking on Minnewaska Friday night at 7 p.m. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.